What is up Pats Nation? It is Patriots Global here with another video and this is my second time making this video because the first time I made this a lot of news was rolling around while I was making this video. So yes, you are getting the information on the Patriots cutting both Ralph Webb and Vincent Valentine from the practice squad, but you're also getting a little bit of extra news. So what I want to start off with quickly is the Patriots 53-man roster and who got that last spot. So as we all know, the Patriots cut Cyrus Jones and they were going to revert him back to the practice squad, but he actually did not clear waivers. The Ravens actually picked him up again, who is who he was originally with before we picked him up again and signed him to our 53-man roster. So he is not going to be a Patriot. He is going to be a Raven again. And a lot of people thought that the Patriots were going to bring back Mike Gillisley. Um, the Patriots are in contact with him. There was someone in the rock locker room that looked a lot like Gillisley today. But um, a lot of people are saying that it is Davis and not him. But to fill that roster spot, the Patriots yet again brought back running back Kenyon Barner for what, the third or fourth time now? So yeah, that's what happened with our available 53-man roster spot is re-signing running back Kenyon Barner. Now, as for the practice squad, the Patriots made a really surprising move in cutting running back Ralph Webb. A lot of people loved Ralph Webb. In my last video when talking about Cyrus Jones and the possibility of them bringing back Mike Gillisley, a lot of you guys wanted Webb to be called up and I never thought that that was a possibility. I replied to some of you and said, yeah, it, it's not going to happen. I thought he was going to stay on the practice squad. I didn't have them cutting him, but I didn't have them bringing him up. Webb was a former undrafted free agent that the Patriots signed this past draft. And he performed very, very, very well in the first preseason game versus Washington. And he was really a big reason that we actually won that game. But what I think a lot of people fail to realize is that that was a preseason game. Week one preseason game versus backups and players that haven't played in the NFL before. And even then there was a lot of times that he would get stopped and get stopped behind the line of scrimmage or just get to the line of scrimmage and then there was times that he would make good plays but a lot of people don't realize is that was against you know preseason guys regular season games are very very different and then the rest of the preseason he really didn't do anything and a lot of people actually had him making the 53 man roster but i never made got him like making the 53 man roster but i thought it was really cool that he made the practice squad there was a lot to work with with him and then today they just surprisingly cut him. Now originally I thought this was to make room for Cyrus Jones, but it wasn't because today the Patriots had three open spots on the practice squad. And honestly, I could see the Patriots reconnecting with him possibly in the future as long as he clears waivers. You know, I could see them possibly signing him back to the practice squad later or picking him up again at the end of the season for the 90-man roster, but ultimately we'll just have to see. So the Patriots also cut defensive tackle Vincent Valentine. Now he missed the entire season last year because of an injury and the season before, which was his rookie year, he was on the Patriots team the whole year. Nothing crazy about him. I think he had just one sack, one or two sacks. So he was never really anything special, but still a pretty surprising cut. But to fill one of the practice squad spots, the Patriots have signed linebacker Calvin Munson. He was a guy that the Patriots had to work out with um, last week, and honestly, he's pretty decent. He's pretty good. I think it's a pretty good pickup. Pretty good depth signing in case the Patriots need someone to promote to the 53-man roster. So yeah, I actually like that signing to the practice squad, but now the Patriots have two spots on the practice squad to still fill so obviously some signings to happen there at some point i know a lot of you guys liked ralph webb i think webb had some good things to work with but like i said i never thought that he was um kind of that guy who was the answer to be on that 53 man roster but either way still a fairly surprising cut as for why they keep cutting and bringing back Kenyon Barner, I'm not totally sure. Honestly, he isn't a great running back. He's more of a special teams guy. And honestly, I would rather the Pats get a guy for the actual run game. I mean, we only have two guys. I mean, Orleans Darkwa, Jamal Charles. There's just a lot of 
decent guys still on the market that the Patriots could pick up that I would love to see. But that is it for today's video. What are your guys' thoughts on Ralph Webb being released and Kenny and Barner rejoining the team for the, what, third or fourth time? So much I can't even keep account. Make sure you guys let me know in the comments below. Also, make sure you guys like and subscribe. It helps me out very, very, very much. Make sure you guys share this video with everybody. Know so you can go to the Patriots couple family. And other than that, I will catch you guys in another video. Thank <laughs> you.